show for you today. Today, the advice you need to take your business to the next level. Three women wrote to us for help turning their business ventures into a success story. So we rounded up the top three experts that, that are never going to give them bad advice at all. Ray, tell us who these are. There are three inspiring women who've cracked a code of business success. But how did each of them rise to the top? One of the world's leading experts in technology, Amber Mack. After navigating her way through the startup trenches, it didn't take long for Amber to climb aboard software heavyweight Microsoft, where she created one of the first ever female-focused lifestyle portals. Today, there's no platform she hasn't conquered. From online to on camera to on stage, she's a best-selling author, a radio host, and the founder of her own hugely successful digital agency, Connect, Seth, and Always with the Times. Amber Mack has got the skills to find business success today while keeping an eye on what's happening in the digital world tomorrow. Up next, Kelly Keene, author, entrepreneur, and personal finance master. After working her way from the ground up, Kelly's not just working her way up the financial ladder, she's building it too. She's helped train banks and trust companies from across Canada and the United States, all while finding time to write nine books, become a television mainstay, and serves on government financial literacy companies. When it comes to business and money smarts, one thing's for certain, you can bet your bottom dollar on Kelly Keene. Then, at the helm of her own business empire, it's Debbie Travis. Debbie's talent, wit, and ambition have helped her rise up from self-taught interior decorator to international brand icon, complete with an astounding 100-acre retreat in Italy. Described as the master of paint and plaster, her television shows have been seen in over 80 countries. Also a best-selling author and public speaker, there's nothing stopping this entrepreneur. A 100% natural at everything she does. Not only is Debbie Travis under the Tuscan sun, she's on top of the world. Three brilliant women, three success stories, and now it's time for them to take care of business. All right, how about that? Please welcome our panel of business mentors, Debbie Travis, Amber MacArthur, Kelly Keene. <laughs> I'd like to have you all here. Boy, that's a powerhouse right there. Okay, so three women are about to pitch their product lines to you in 60 seconds. You know about that. And how are you going to judge them? Amber, give us the rundown. We there. talked for a couple minutes before the segment, and I think one of the things we're looking for really is longevity, a product that will have longevity, but also something that's on trend that really speaks to today's consumers. Yeah, okay, so you all talked about yeah. it. You know what you're each going to look for because you each have expertise in, in a certain way, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You get asked a lot about when you're out and about. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, and, and we were talking even before, it's like something that's a consumable, something that, like, you know, what is it? Is it an it product? Is it yeah. something that has staying yeah. power? Like, yeah. what is really going to stick around? What is the market today? For, yeah. That's, right. I think, the most important thing. Well, very good. Our mentors are going to be hearing these pitches for the very first time. They have no idea what any of these products are. So it's time to meet our mompreneurs. First up, please welcome everyone, Elizabeth. <laughs> I mean this. Okay, <laughs> Elizabeth gets in her place, and your 60 seconds starts now. Hello, judges. I am thrilled to be here today to share with you my passion for cork and my beautiful country of Portugal. My business, Rock Cork, brings to mainstream fashion cork leather purses and accessories. Why cork? Because cork is a natural and sustainable product that is harvested from the bark of a cork tree every nine years. It is soft, durable, lightweight, waterproof, and easy to clean. All of my bags are handmade in Portugal using the best quality cork and natural materials. My father's a cobbler, so he taught me how to look for craftsmanship and quality, something that is reflective in my products today. My bags are designed for the everyday busy woman on the go. They are functional, they're fashion forward, and they're versatile, and they will take you from home to work to play. I believe that cork is the perfect marriage between uh, fashion and nature, and for that, rock cork is where nature meets luxury. Thank you. There you go, 10 oh. seconds to go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Well done. Thank well done. you. Thank you. Debbie, you're up first with feedback. They're beautiful. They're really fantastic. Um, and cork, that's very interesting. Normally you think of it, 
well, it was wine. <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolute one-track mind. Um, and flooring. So I guess it is durable, right? And, and if you've got a stain on it, would it come off? It's so easy to clean. All you have to do is use, like, a makeup remover, a baby wipe, a soft damp cloth, and it comes right off. So wipe it gently. Okay, I have a question because I'm, yeah. I'm not a fashion person, but how's your social media with all this? Because I think with a product like this today... There is so much competition in, in purses Absolutely. Uh, at, at every level, right, of price ranges. How, you know, what, what are you thinking about for getting the message out there? I think it's all about educating the customer. Uh, when people think of cork, they still don't see it as a fashion product. They still think of the cork stopper, that it's brittle, fall apart. But once they touch the product and feel it, they're blown away because it's literally so soft, just like leather. And yeah. it behaves like leather. Amber, you're next, please. Yeah, just to pick up on the idea of social media, I think this really is an Instagram product. This is the place where you can market this product. Can you talk a little bit in terms of what you're currently doing on Instagram? So we're currently uh, focusing on Instagram and Facebook, doing some digital marketing campaigns to drive traffic to the site. Um, and it's going well so far. So I'm excited about what's coming up in the next few months. Okay, yeah. Kelly Keith. Is it a misconception that cork is running out? Because there's so many bottles of wine that don't have cork anymore. Yeah. Would I feel like I'm buying no. something? Because Debbie took them all. I drank them all. No, it's you not because it's running out. It's because um, when you buy buy wine, so when you know a bottle is corked. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, with the new corks that they're doing, they, 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 the fake ones. Yeah. They don't they don't go off. So oh, it's actually a better, good, product. a better product. But, but is there that perception that it's running out? You there is. That had that feedback you know what? All? I get that question all the time. Now, I come from Portugal, and Portugal is the world's largest cork explorer. Okay. Half of the country is made up of cork fields. So if we harvest the trees properly, they live up to 300 years, so there is no shortage you have an of cork. So it's a sustainable product. Let's thank Elizabeth yeah. for that thank great question. Thank, thank you, Elizabeth. So what we're going to do is take these purses. Oh, gosh, I'll take those purples. Oh, there, Kath. there you go, Kath. And she's good. Our next preneur, please welcome everyone, Rebecca. Hi, good morning. All right, got some stuff you need to know about. She's got something that she's going to show us and tell us all about. All right, nice to have you. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Okay, you are allowed to give your presentation starting right now. Okay, hi, good morning. I'm Becky Goulet from Nimbleback. I'm excited to be here today to show you our product, The Beam. The Beam is a simple yet effective tool designed to help you release, relax, and restore your back, neck, and shoulders with just 10 minutes a day from the comfort of your own home. Fiona is going to demonstrate a few of the simple stretches that come with The Beam while I tell you how it works. As you lay down on The Beam, it helps to open up your chest. And as you breathe deeply, it helps release both the upper and lower back muscles. It also helps your shoulder blades fall towards the mat, letting go of the tension you carry both between and beneath the shoulder blades. It can also help with your posture from releasing tension that we get from slouching and other poor habits that we have for our backs. The Beam by Nimbleback retails for just $39.95, making back care affordable and accessible for busy people on the go. Judges, are you ready to join the Beam team? Yeah. Six seconds left to go. Way to go, Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca and Fiona. Kelly, you're up first. Uh, do you have any corporate partnerships with this as yet? Do you see this as something like, do you have videos? I'm sure Amber will ask about we, apps. We do a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. Um, we're looking for the right partner to do some exercise videos and some training for yoga studios because we do have class sets at some studios and the teachers would love to have more training. So that's something we're looking to do more. Okay, Amber. I really like that the company is called Nimbleback and you have this one product. Uh, many people just try to sell a product, but it seems as though you're planning to have more products. Can you talk a little bit about that expansion? Yeah, so we started just with one version of the Beam and now we have the Beam Gentle and the Beam Firm. So you, you have the Gentle one in front of you, which is a little bit softer. And then the other one's a little bit more intense feeling. Um, <laughs> like what my kids do with it. <laughs> and then we're looking to develop some other fitness products to help with releasing muscle tension as well as um, comforting tools like ice pack, hot cold packs, different things. But 
Um, our passion is really taking care of our backs. Okay. So Very all good. products that can help with that. Debbie Travis. Um, I really like this because I've done it when you have the noodle. Yeah. And you just roll off it because yeah. <laughs> it's round. Yeah. But, it's, but it does open it up if you've got the balance and the core to hold you in. Yeah. And I think, you know, yoga is just growing and growing and growing. I mean, it's, you feel weird today if you say you've never done yoga. And I think any tools that people can have, and I think yoga is something where people are constantly adding to their collection of, you know, they've got a new mat, they've got a, you know, a, a new square noodle. Um, I, I, I think it's a great idea, and I think it's something that's got huge legs. Thank uh, you. I think it's any questions for Rebecca? Um, I think, you thinking long term, I mean, um, like you said, you know, you, you need to have other, I don't think you can keep going with one thing because it becomes a novelty right. item. Right. So, I mean, you would need a partner, I'm pretty sure, yep. in that business. So. Yeah, well, foam rollers, um, like a, it's a tool that we say they complement each other. We say we're the foam roller's best friend if you have a foam roller. Um, they sell 250000 a year with one of the distributors that we've been talking to. So they sell every year 250000 foam rollers. We think there's a lot of potential for this oh, product. And what would that retail us? This is uh, thirty nine ninety five. Okay. okay. How about okay. travel? Do you have a travel something that? Um, we don't have a smaller one, but that's something we're looking at doing. But this one fits in your luggage. Like I put it just around the outside right. of my clothes, and then I pack in between it, which is great because if you hurt yourself on vacation or you're sleeping yeah. on a crummy bed, yeah. something you can do to help release and, tension. And it's durable. And it's light. I can durable. It. It's light. It's going to last. It's closed cell foam, so you can wipe it clean. It's not going to absorb sweat. Would it be good to do a small one for on a flight? Because I fly yeah. all the time, so you can have it behind your back on the flight. That's great. I have a... I want 10%. A lot. <laughs> we're wrapping, okay, we're wrapping up. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Thank you very much. We're going to take these away. Okay, how we're doing so, so good so far. We got all the pamphlets off the desk, and here we go. Our next pitch is from Laura. Welcome, Laura, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Laura. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Doing? Good. She's gonna get. Don't need it. Okay, here we go, Laura. Your pitch starts right now. Sixty seconds. What if I told you that over 60% of everything that you put on your skin ends up in your bloodstream? Do you know what's in your soap? Our soaps are made with 100% pure coconut oil. We use therapeutic grade essential oils for their scent and their holistic properties. Each bar of soap has over an ounce of organic coconut milk and we use plants to create beautiful colors and designs. The environment is incredibly important to us. Our labels are made with recycled paper that are embedded with wildflower seeds. Take our labels and plant them to grow food for your local bees and butterflies. At Lama Soap Company, we pride ourselves on these three things. We are completely all natural, vegan, and cruelty free. We are the most luxurious bar of soap that you will ever try, and we will never risk your health or your family's health or the environment to achieve those goals. That's it, 10 seconds left. They, they all must be radio broadcasters because they keep it shorter than TV people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amber, feedback. Yeah, just quickly, it smells amazing, mm -hmm. but I'm curious because I think a lot of people buy a product because they love the product, but they also love the story of the founder. What's your story? So we are a small family. I got two young boys. And your life changes when you have kids because you become incredibly aware of what you're putting on them, what you're bombarding their system with. And with our youngest, I put him in the bath and I was just... It just struck me that we should not be applying these things to them. So I created this soap with my babies in mind. Okay, very good. Debbie? I like that because actually this morning in the makeup room, I was asking Amy, the makeup artist, you know, sometimes you put a moisturizer on and you can taste the chemicals. And it's starting to get a bit scary, especially as you get older and you're more concerned about your skin. And I think this is an exploding subject. I think we're getting more and more aware. I love the idea that the packaging will just Thank dissolve you. in the garden. I think that's very clever. Have you looked at the competition? Because there seems a lot of... Yes, what looks similar out there. There's a little bit of a difference between us and what you would find at uh, specialty stores, per se. One is, is that everything that we make is handmade. I go, we know what it is from the raw ingredient on. We don't start with pre-made bases and then create something. Uh, we source everything from Canadian companies, and we're really proud of that. And we know exactly where our coconut oil comes from. And we are not leading uh, to deforestation by using palm oil. We source everything. We put a lot of effort into that. Okay. Very good. Kelly. How much does this cost? So our soaps are 10.95 for
for a five and a half ounce bar of soap. Each bar of soap, if you take care of it properly, drying it out in between uses, will last you anywhere from two to three weeks. All right. Let's get Elizabeth and Rebecca back out here. Well done. Uh, all these entrepreneurs. So it is time for our members to choose their favorite mompreneur pitch. And the results, well, we'll get those when we come back. So stay with us. guide to tracking down the pair of jeans that will have you looking better than ever. Then how's this for a pair? The cousins Anthony Carino and John Calinari are here in solving some of your biggest home dilemmas. That's tomorrow on an all-new Maryland. Today, we're helping three mompreneurs take their businesses to the next level with the help of our mentors, Debbie Travis, Amber MacArthur, and Kelly Kane. And, and before the break, we had Elizabeth, Rebecca, and Laura. They had 60 seconds to pitch their product, and during the break, our mentors picked their favorites. Now, you three did not get any sleep last night. No. <laughs> I just want you to be relieved. It's now over. And I think you all did a great job. Really great job. So relax now. Okay, so here we go with the final feedback. Uh, Deb, you're going to talk about Laura. Yeah, um, I think it's a fantastic product. I have one criticism, and, and that is that I think you have to be very careful saying it's all from Canada, because unless I'm wrong, I don't think coconuts come from Canada. No, but we support a local, like a Canadian business that sources. Yeah. I just coconuts, think because you think of oh, it's herbs and things like that. Yeah. I, I'd be kind of careful with that. I, I like the packaging. I think it goes really well. I do think it's a gift item. I would buy that for a friend. Whether I'd just go and buy a bar of soap at ten, you know, ten dollars for myself, I'm not sure. Um, I think the price compared to other stuff that's on the market, where you were buying it for a friend, is not bad. Um, but I think you have to get it out there. I think you just have to do every gift show. You know, um, I think the story is fantastic. Selling your story and everybody relates to a story. But I would just be. Coconut to me means Thailand. I'm just being a little, <laughs> okay. little careful. Amber, feedback for Elizabeth, please. Yeah, absolutely. I love your product, and I think it's one of those products that can sell really well because it's so unique. But I think you really need to push that, and I would also say you probably need to invest more money than you are on social media okay. in the advertising space because, as was said, there's so much competition out there right now. So as much budget as you can push, I would push, push it into Instagram in particular to try to stand out on that platform. Thank you. Very good. And Kelly, you get Rebecca. Yeah, Becky, I love this product um little criticism would be i would love to do this while i'm in this suit i can't get on the floor and do that so is there some way that you yeah, can you do it against the wall or in a chair okay super cool would love to travel when uh, amber was also telling me that there's a 300 percent growth in um in health in, and fitness apps yeah so like so 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 much potential I think a corporate partner would be great for your to get your videos up to get that the, you know an app and all that type of stuff that you might just not have the dollars for but uh, really eventually. love eventually yeah. Yeah. yeah eventually well amber you're the one who's the number one pitch for today's mompreneur show all right so after we talked a little bit yeah the winner is becky from the bean <laughs> get the word on. Let's hear it for Becky. That's, uh, that's not too heavy, is it? Because your back could go out. I've got a product for you. I got it. <laughs> that would help your back. Okay. But you know what? Uh, we don't do that one gift for, you know, we do the for the both of you of also one, a $500 gift card oh, from no. Staple. There you go. <laughs> we, can't, we cannot do that. Uh, Here's what I have to say. Uh, you know, I, I really, I'm not an entrepreneur at all. It's great to have this great panel of experts, and that's great free advice. And I know all of you will do well. And we're going to sit back on the Maryland Dennis Show and go, hey, I remember that. I remember that's it. Right. So good luck to all of you, and thank you so much for participating in today's show. Thank you. All done. <laughs>
take a break. Thanks, everybody. We'll be right back. Peace for the Up next, Amber is sharing how you can utilize social media to let your brand be the best it can be. Don't miss it. <laughs> 